Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Code Elevate. In the previous video, we created dashboard page and after this, we wrote the code to call stats API in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will design the dashboard page and we will write the code to show the stats on the dashboard. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, first of all, we need to open dashboard.component.ts file. And in this component, we need to store the response of our stats API in a variable. So we will create a new variable and we will name this as stats. And after this, in the arrow function, we will use this stats variable and we will set the value of response in it. And after this, we will save this file and we will open dashboard.component.html file. And as you can see on the dashboard, first of all, we need to show the balance, total income and total expense. So in our HTML file, we will create a div. And in this div, we will create another div of n0. And in this div, we need to create three grids. So we will use h3 tag. And for the ng span, we will give it as 8. And after this, for the ng style, we will pass a variable grid style, which we will create in a few minutes. And in this h3 tag, we will write the text as balance. And after this, we need to show the balance. So we will choose span tag. And in the style, we will give it a color of slate blue. And after this, we will call stats.balance. And after the balance, we need to show the income. So we will create another h3 tag. And in this, for the text, we will show total income. And after this, we will call stats.income. And at the end, we will create another h3 tag. And in this for the text, we will write total expense. And after this, we will call stats.expense. And after this, let's open our dashboard.component.ts file. And in this, we need to create grid style variable. And in this grid style, we will give the width as 25%. And after this, for the text align, we will give it as center. And now we will save this file and we will go back to the dashboard.component.html file. And after this top bar, we need to create this card for the income chart. And on the right hand side, we need to create the cards for the recent history and minimum and maximum expense and income. And after this div, we will create another div. And for the style, we will give margin top as 20 pixel. And in this div, we will create another div. And for the NZ flex, we will give 1, 1 and 200 pixel. And in this div, we need to show the chart. So we will write NZ card tag. And for the NZ title, we will give it as income chart. And after this, we will create another div. And for the NZ flex, we will give it as 0, 1 and 300 pixel. And in this div, we need to create two NZ card tags. So we can show the recent history and minimum and maximum stats. So we will start with the first NZ card and for the NZ title, we will give it as recent history. And in this NZ card, we will create another div of NZ card grid. And in this div, to show the text, we will use a span tag. And after this, we need to show the amount of the latest income. So we will call stats.latestIncome.amount. And after this, we need to show the title of the income. So we will call stats.latestIncome.title. And after this, we need to show the latest expense. So we will create another div tag of NZ card grid. And in this div, we will again use span tag. And after this, we will call stats.latestExpense.amount to show the amount of the latest expense. And after this, we will show the latest expense title as well. And with this, our recent history card is completed. Now we will create another NZ card tag. And for the title, we will give it as income. And in this card, we need to show the minimum and maximum income. And to do this, we will create a div tag of N0. And in this div, we will create another div of NZ column. And after this, for the text, we will write minimum and we will call stats.min income. And after this, we will create another div of ng column to show the horizontal line and at the end we will create another div of ng column and for the text we will write maximum and after this we will call stats.max income and with this our ng card is completed to show the minimum and maximum income now we need to create a card to show the minimum and maximum expense and in this card we will create a div of n0 and in this div we will create another div tag and we will call stats.min expense. 
and after this we will create another div to show the horizontal line and after this we will create another div to show a line and at the end we will create another div and we will call stats.maxexpense and with this our ng card is completed to show the minimum and maximum expense and after this div we need to create another div and in this div we will create another div and for the ng flex we will give it as 1 1 and 200 pixel and in this div we will write ng card tag and for the title we will give it as expense chart and with this our html code is completed for the dashboard now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our dashboard and in the browser we will click on this dashboard menu and as you can see on the dashboard on the top row we are getting balance total income and total expense and after this we have a card for the income chart which is empty for now and on the right hand side we have the recent history card and in this card we are showing the latest income and latest expense and after this we have a card for the income and in this we are showing minimum and maximum income and after this we have expense card in which we are showing minimum and maximum expense and at the end we have a card to show the expense chart and that's it for today's video in the next video we will write the code to call the api and get the data for income and expense chart in our angular application